Hey guys, so uh, why don't you take a look at this? This is a uh, new recipe from Synth, which creates a 2U rack mount bezel. And every time you go into actions and you increase the seed and you hit do it, it actually generates a brand new bezel, uh, bezel design. So uh, <laughs> some of them are better than others, as you can see. And uh, in fact, let's take a look at some of the many ones that have been created. So notice a couple of things. One is that we have a, uh, a basic surface transition that happens across the bezel. Uh, then we also add different handles to the bezel. And then we have different controls. These are blades, these are switches, these are displays. And as you see, these are connectors. Uh, we also add a texture on top of all of it in some in some cases. So as we march down here, you can see there's this kind of a honeycomb texture and a line texture. And we're positioning these uh, for each different iteration. So this is just probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 different versions of I think I've rented a couple hundred of them now. Um, but you can kind of get an idea. Some of them are very simple and clean. Some of them get more complex. And for the most part, they're all pretty uh, pretty neat. The, I find for me that the hardest part is actually going through and filtering out the ones that I don't like and keeping the ones that I do. And remember that the number over here is 64. In this case, so actually, let's, let's go up to something that might be a little more interesting. This one is... 59 so if we go back into here and we type in that number 59 for this particular setup you'll see that we will generate that exact same design that we just showed so let's show you how we create these real quick so one thing to keep in mind we have to be using version 2.91 or later in order for this to work because we're using the new exact booleans and i'm going to I'm going to select this a, and delete it. What I'll do is I'll shift A and add a new cube. And let's go ahead and put that plastic dapple on it for now, but we'll, we'll change it a little bit later. There we go. And this is just a basic cube. And so what I'll do is I'll go into my synth and I'm going to go into recipes and I'm going to load a recipe and I will go into my rack mount. I'm going to use this latest one, 23, the one uh, that you'll have access to and then the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and turn everything off okay so this is a unique one it's kind of a one button one but the first thing you have to do is if you look at we're, we're gonna split we're gonna move this out it says do first up here so I'm gonna grab these two with this selected I'm gonna tab in remember select the front face or the face that you want this to appear on hit tab and then say do it and what it's going to do in this particular case is it's going to generate just the faceplate, just a blank faceplate, and it's going to do it at scale. And that's why it's so small. So it doesn't matter what size cube you're using in this recipe. It's always going to generate this at the correct scale. Once I've got that, I'll go to my tools and I'll say bake this object. And notice that it's all wiggy. And I'm going to say shade smooth. And then I'll go over here and under my normals, I'll auto smooth it. And now we're good. And I'm going to change that texture here in just a second. So now that these are done, I'll go in here and I'm going to tab and I'm going to select only the front face here, not these ones on the side, just the one on the front. Tab back out. Oh, let's remove unused wires while we're at it. And now that we've got that done, I'm going to hide this too so that we don't have this getting away. Now that we have this done, let's go ahead and we're going to turn on all these others but I'm gonna do it one at a time you can turn them all on at once and just do it it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna turn it all and show you what's going on so if, if I select this now and say do it you'll see that what we're doing now is we're placing this cutter uh, that's changing the topology of that area let me go ahead and auto update this and just start changing so you see changed changed it again Let's see if I can maybe maybe go into this mode and you can start to see a little better what's going on And as we do this, as it updates, it'll change the topology to one of a number of different topologies. And there's actually one that is this blank topology. So that means it doesn't change it at all. So we've got that done. So now let's go in and let's add the handles. And we'll say do it. 
and now with the handles added you can see that as we move through this and iterate it we're going to get different topology and different handle changes as we move forward there you go so get the idea and then I'm going to go ahead and add the face detail the face detail detail is actually a cutter that's going to come in and cut open some of these parts so let's let's go ahead and select our object which is our cube and we're going to go in and we're going to add a uh, dark mat the dark mat material to it that gives it a little easier for us to review to see it so as i said this face detail is going to add these different cutters and some of these cutters are a little more detailed like this one's a little longer takes a little longer to process but the reason why it works this is actually a cutter that's not a cutter there's nothing in there it's a blank one also and the reason why this works uh, so well is the new booleans are just great in terms of we just very rarely do we get anything that messes up so so you get an idea of what's going on so you can get the one that's got the horizontal stripes in it i know it's in there there you go here's the horizontal stripe one another example of it so <clears throat> now i'm going to last i'm going to add the controls to all of it and as we do that of course it's going to randomize the placement of these various controls and as you can see like in the display which is kind of cool i only have it set over here to use once so the display is only supposed to be used once the switches and and the rest of this can be used more than once but i have them set to a 20 percent cover by setting them to 20%, I'm getting them to occur less frequently. One thing I'm also doing is some of these I'm setting to 99% because they were actually getting a little too close to the border. So I set them to 99% instead of setting don't scale. Okay, and that's really it. So once you've got this done, then you can, of course, save your file and go to the top and just say iterator, turn off auto update, and set your seed range to whatever. I went from 0 to 100. You could do 100 to 200, whatever you want to do, and just let it render uh, one other thing I might mention that's kind of cool is check out this display. I'm going to go ahead, auto-update, and do another iteration. But it's got, see the 2 and the core X right there? There it is. Notice that the display <laughs> has changed. I'm going to do it one more time. Again, the display has changed. So I've got a special material on there that Gabe helped me with. Uh, and it's... Uh, uh, it's great because it basically uses a 4x2 matrix, so eight different designs, and it just and it places any one of those random eight designs on the display there. So that about covers it. Enjoy playing with this recipe. Okay, see ya. Bye.